Rolls Royce, taking a look at 100 years of excellence. In Great Britain back in the days before Elizabeth II reigned, there was only one word for luxury, well actually two words. Rolls Royce, created by the amalgamation of Sears Rolls Co. and Royce Co. Ltd. The first cars to bear what their names had put wheels on the road in 1904, when Henry Royce built the cars and Charles Rolls attended to their sales and delivery. In 1904, the famous radiator shape was devised and shortly afterwards, the emblem of Antoinette first letters from each of the, the partners' surnames became the symbol of Great Britain's most legendary motor car, Master Rolls and Royce. Were, however, not alone in creating this commanding image, also involved with the uh, founding of the company was Cloud Johnson, an associate of Rolls, who literally became the hippen in Rolls Royce and the firm's distinguished managing director. Uh, a year after the formation of Rolls-Royce LTD in 1906, the company introduced the Silver Ghost, a massive touring car name, named by Johnson for the 13th example produced, which featured a distinctive grey color sham and silver plated footprints. All 40-50 horsepower six-cylinder Rolls-Royce models Thereafter came to be known as Silver Goats. Uh, Roy Johnson of the cars un uh, unrecently known the plume, silver as being pure and helmet, and ghost as being a symbolic of its smooth, silent, effortless movement. Johnson also took it upon himself in 1907 to, get, to become the company's promotional director uh, and test driver arranging for public demonstrations of the car's performance and durability. In advertising, jo Johnson proclaimed, the six-cylinder Rolls-Royce is one of the best but the best car in the world. This property is about the best car in the world remain linked to Rolls-Royce to this day. In June 1907, Johnson drove the 13th Silver Ghost uh, in the Scottish uh, Reliability Trial, uh, knowing full well uh, what the outcome of the audio would be. He had already run the 774 mile course a month before and traversed the torturous rough heaven to mile, rest and be thankful hill, which would finish many a competitor than June. In a staged contest against a white steam car having a penchant for snowmanship, Johnson negotiated the final hairpin, turned at the top of the hill four additional times, twice in reverse for the benefit of a London Times photographer in June, Johnson and the Ghosts completed the entire Scottish reliability trial, trial without incident, winning the gold medal for excellence in hill climbing, reliability and fuel consumption. Uh, Ninety years later, this author and Richard Charles Worth, then head of the Rolls-Royce Public Affairs Department drove uh, the very same Silver Ghost uh, chassis through the Scotland and the upper rest and be thankful. He uh, with the same results Johnson experienced in 1970, uh, along with us were 50 other Silver Ghosts from around the world making the trek from Glasgow along the West Bank of Loch Lomond to Tarbot, in the Scottish countryside where little has changed since the Scottish reliability trials, trials first took place for the matter since the time of William Wallace.
uh, from the onset Rolls Royce automobiles established an international standard for quality, luxury and engineering. Uh, and by 1910, the year in which pioneer aviator Charles Rolls died in an accident at the Bonimus Air Show, the Silver Ghost had indeed become a Jones, as Johnson predicted, the most desirable luxury motor car in the world. The watcher of monarchs, captains of industry, the famous and infamous. It remained, it remained in production until 1924. Uh, at which time Rolls Royce drove upon yet another sp spirited name, described its new line of luxurious coach built life's Phantom. The Phantom One arrived in 1925, but the only significant change to, from the Ghost was the introduction of a new uh, 7.4 liter overhead Volvo six cylinder engine. The Phantom One was otherwise a trans trans transitional model displaying coachwork similar to the uh, to that of the later Ghosts. The same cha chases and suspension and four wheel brakes, which were introduced on the 1924 models, new body designs uh, did not begin to appear until 1928 and 1929. By which time the Phantom One was succeeded by the improved Phantom 2. The new Phantom made its debut in September 1929, just one month before US securities would tumble uh, $26 billion in a single day. The Wall Street, the pillar of America's economy strength, would crumble. The stock market crash and the Great Depression that would follow several hampered Rolls Royce sales in the US and ultimately lead to the failure in 1934. Uh, of the firm's American branch, Rolls Royce of America, based in Springfield, Massachusetts, uh, a railway OI, had built cars referred to as Springfield Rolls. Since 1919, some of the great, greatest designs on the Ghost and Phantom uh, chases were created in the United States. The Phantom II was equipped with a revised six-cylinder engine increasing output to around 120 horsepower at 3000 rpm and later to 158 horsepower by using a higher compression ratio and a new carburetor. Produced through <coughs> 1935, the body uh, styles offered on the Phantom uh, Second, by the high watermark in Prevo. Uh, Rolls Royce coachwork in the early uh, 1930s, however, a six cylinder engine was not impressive. Not even one built by Rolls Royce. American aftermarkets were offering eight, uh, 12, and 16 cylinder engines, uh, and the competition in the US and Europe was expanding despite the economic effects of the depression. Though it seemed to be uh, to fly in the face of logic, Packard Cadillac, Lincoln, Album, Peace Arrow, and Franklin all had introduced 12 cylinder engines. Cadillac and Marmon had even debuted 16 cylinder models. The, the later failing in 1933 in Europe, Hispano Suiza had introduced the 12 cylinder. J12 and Rolls Royce with its inline six was simply no match on either continent. Thus, in the fall of 1935, the British automaker doubled its ante with the 12 cylinder Phantom 3. Okay, guys, it's all for now. Today, we talked about Rolls Royce and its history.